Left-handed, baby. Feast your eyes on this beauty. No, not Christy. Although she is very beautiful. No, seriously, this is the first motorcycle in the history of motorcycling to be conceived from the drawing board up as a touring motorcycle. And ironically, it this particular model, this original 83 to 86, is considered by many venture aficionados to be the best handling one. Kind of like the Harley Davidson FXR from 1982 to 19, what was it? Uh, 99 was the last year they made one. Uh, that old older frame was considered to be the best handling one. This is considered to be one of the best handling Venture Royales ever. This particular one, I know the whole history of this bike. This has been owned by a one individual until recently, Sil Furtado, the mechanic that tuned this bike since it was new at Archie's Yamaha. It came from Archie's Yamaha in Rhode Island. He was the mechanic that every year the bike was bought back to the dealer and they'd put it in storage there for the winter and completely detail it in the spring and tune it up, whatever it needed, all the fluids, everything. Every year, the bike was completely over-maintained. And you can tell there's more wax on this thing than a candle and it looks like a new bike. I'd been over to Sills last summer looking at his R1 Yamaha that he had for sale. And this was in the garage and uh, we couldn't put together a deal on it, but this year he was ready to sell and I, I snapped it up. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. Now, Sill is a 60-something-year-old mechanic who's been a mechanic for over 40 years. He's the one who maintained it. When he bought the bike, he whatever it needed, if he hadn't already done it, he did it again. The carbs have been cleaned. The brakes have been gone through. It's got a brand-new battery in it. It starts up and runs like a new bike. One of the cool things about the Venture Royale, this particular series, the 83 to 86, the saddlebags will come right off of this, like removable luggage, like Samsonite luggage, and so won't the backpack which if you take those three items off, it kind of looks like a Harley Davidson um, street glide. It gives it a much stripped down, sportier look. And one of the coolest things I think Syl did, check this out, he bought a brand new windshield for it and sent it to a glass shop and had it cut down, professionally cut down so that it, you can look over it rather than through it. I don't like the optical distortion of looking through a windshield, but he's got it at the perfect height that you can look over it, but the wind still blows over your head. Very sporty windshield. Very, very sporty front bearing. The autumn gold metallic gold paint job is off the hook. It's got custom pinstriping on it, and it's an absolutely beautiful piece. Uh, these these Venture Royales, if you don't already know, you probably do if you're watching this, but this has a V-Max. This is the engine. This is this engine was designed for a touring bike, but it performs so well. It has 97, this 1983, it had 97 horsepower and over 100 foot-pound of torque. Let me put that into perspective for you. A new Harley Davidson, the highest performance Dyna S that I had, the 2017, put down 82 rear wheel horse on the dyno. This one's rated for 97. V4, four valve per cylinder, four 35 millimeter Makuni carburetors. This, this bike was capable of a high 12 second quarter mile out of the box and it's supposed to be a touring cruising bike, but it, it'll cruise all day long, 85 to 100 miles an hour. Um, gauges are right where you'd want them, right below the, 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 check out the dash on this thing. The dash is, in my opinion, ahead of its time. Check it out, tachometer, speedometer, has the uh, turn signals, neutral light, temperature gauge, volt gauge, speakers. It also has these vents, which on a cold day like today, you can close these and keep the cold wind off you. Your legs on the bottom half here, check out these vents. I'm gonna close these now. Totally protected from the wind and rain. And how is the comfort on the back, babe? It's actually very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a cool piece. Uh, so I, you know, I think it'd be hard pressed to find an, a cleaner, nicer 83 Venture Royale. It's actually worth more today, according to the NADA, than it was new. Back then it was $5,600 new, which uh, in today's dollars uh, is probably a lot more than that. But the NADA value, number one condition is $7,000 for this because people that know, and that's based on auction, auction results. Um, again, the thing's been tuned to perfection. S Sills done a couple of upgrades like the windshield, and he also converted the uh, engine fan it's liquid cooled to manual so you can turn it on and off when you want to if you want to keep it running a little cooler or get it to warm up a little quicker so just a cool piece so five speed shaft drive liquid cooled double disc front brake very cool piece the original it's never been dropped or abused it's been owned by one owner and maintained by the same mechanics it's brand new from archie's yamaha in rhode island so Hope it goes to a good home. Someone appreciates and rides it like it should be. Air, air adjustable suspension front and rear. Just an awesome piece. Large adjustable mirrors give you good rear vision. They don't vibrate. Very smooth, 
motorcycle. Very fast. Guys, I almost forgot to mention that not only is Adventure Royale exquisitely comfortable and smooth, fast and fun and reliable and affordable, but it also is fully adjustable. The passenger pegs have three positions. The, the, the rider's pegs and the handlebars are all adjustable, as is the suspension air compression, so you can raise or lower the suspension for whatever type of riding you're doing. Another thing I found out, I went on Yamaha's website and they had a little bit of history of the Venture Royale on there. This bike, as I said, was completely conceived and designed from the ground up as a touring bike, and the seats were actually orthopedically designed by an orthopedic doctor. They're, they're the first seat on a motorcycle that I know of that was designed orthopedically. Christy, what are your thoughts on the seat? I am actually really surprised at how comfortable it is, and you have the right lower backwards support that usually lacks if you're a passenger. They put backrest, but they push you forward. This is perfect. This is a bike that, that would be nice to cruise down the Florida Keys or from, through the Smoky Mountains. And, you know, you, the luggage, if you're going to go for a weekend trip, the luggage is removable. You don't have to unpack the saddlebags. They come right off with one key, and it's super amazingly easy to pop them off. I've had them off. I could demo that for you. Just an awesome piece. And, uh, you know, Yamaha designed this bike to be beautiful. That's what they said on their website. And here it is, 37 years later. When you look at the profile of the fairing, it has a very sporty look for a, a full touring bearing. Something similar to the, the new Harley-Davidson Road Glide, ironically. But uh, just a beautiful piece. Computerized monitoring, way ahead of its time. And uh, owned, carefully maintained. This bike, this isn't a bike that sat in a shed rotting away. This is a bike that every year was maintained by Sil Furtado. I'll give you his phone number. You can talk to him for confirmation everything about the bike. Ready to rumble, folks. Thanks for watching. And like I said, Yamaha is one of my favorite brands. If I was going to get a tattoo, my first tattoo is going to be Yamaha Tuning Fork. That's a whole other story, but she's a beautiful bike. Good luck bidding on her, and God bless America. handling machine probably has more power than a gold wing of this of that era again this is the motor that was in the v-max and if you ever heard of v-max uncorked with a header on it they sound absolutely freaking amazing so i i probably wouldn't do that to this but it sure would be tempting to put a set of slip on uh kirker mufflers or something like that because these v4s sound incredible uncorked they got a ton of power again this is the motor that went in the v-max one of the most notoriously gnarly, nasty street fighters ever made. <laughs> <laughs>